it's clear. So I thought, I've not got a set plan actually. All I know that I want to do is kind of search around and image something in Ursa Major. I'm going to have two approaches tonight. Basically, I've got this new ASI 462MC, which I've been playing around with, and it's super sensitive. I pointed it towards the core of Orion the other night on the Heritage 150P, and it was half a second exposure at gain 350, and I was getting lots of detail out of it, so it's super sensitive. So I'm quite keen to pop it on the 200P Skywatcher in the observatory and get some kind of tracking going, even if it's just for a few seconds. My problem's gonna be with that small sensor and that long focal length of a thousand millimeters is it's only going to give me a field of view of 0.3 by 0.2 degrees, which is tiny. It's like the area of like Pernicus or Tycho on the moon with a bit, of, bit around it. So it's not a huge sort of field of view I'm working with and I'm not even got, I'm probably not even going to do go to because the thing is, there's lots of stars in Ursa Major with a big dipper that I can use to navigate from. So I'm just going to try and fish around and see if I can do it without GoTo, which is a bit crazy. But, uh, for example, the Owl Nebula, which is a planetary nebula about 2,000 light years away, um, that's just below the star Merrick. So hopefully by fishing around, I'll be able to find something. There's M63, the Sunflower Galaxy, there's the Crocsi Galaxy, there's the Pinwheel, the other side of uh, Ursa Major, and there's even one called the Tiger's Eye that I noticed, which is quite good. So there's a few galaxies named after animals. There's also like the Whale Galaxy as well, so which is also known as the Heron Galaxy, which is another animal. So crazy, yeah. So I, I want to try and get the owl first, so, and see if I can do that on that tiny sensor. If I have no luck whatsoever, what I'm going to do is dig out the Canon 40D, which is going to give me a much bigger field of view, and I'll try, <laughs> I'll try with that one instead. But with the ASI 462, I'm imaging at 0.6 arc seconds per pixel, which is actually pretty much the door's limit of the telescope. And the door's limit is the maximum resolution the telescope can achieve. And the seeing's going to be the limit before the telescope, but it does look really good. Like the stars aren't particularly scintillating, so it does seem quite steady tonight. So I'm hoping I'll have a little bit of luck. Okay, so I've just focused the telescope. That's the number one most important thing for imaging. You can undo a lot of things in post-processing, but focus is not one of the things you can undo. Been there, got the t-shirt. Polaris and its binary companion look really sharp on the screen. Twenty minutes later. Okay, I didn't have much luck with the four six two using sharp cap. Now, part of the problem is I did find a little smudge which I wanted to live stack in, in sharp cap, but my pro license is for the camera I sold, the Altair 294C, so I need to set up a new pro license and I can't be bothered with that at the moment. So I'm just going to switch to the Canon 40D and see what I can do with that. Somewhere in the middle of Canis Venatici is the Crocsi galaxy. It is faint though, it's magnitude 8 point... No, it's not too bad, 8.24. We'll go for that one. It is between two stars, so where is it exactly? Slightly up to the left. I think I've got my heart set on getting the Croc Psi Galaxy now. So I'm going to get in the middle of the frame or close and then try and get some 60 second exposures. Guiding wise, I said I was setting that up. I've got as far as downloading ASCOM, 
and PhD too, but I need to get another shoot on my telescope because I'm going to take the RDF off to put the guide scope on and then I'll have nowhere to put the RDF to find stuff with. So I really need to get one of those multi shoes or find somewhere else on here to put another shoe. But for the time being I'm doing it the very rustic, unguided, no go to way. good feeling about this one. I think I'll have the Crocsi Galaxy in the centre of the frame in this next one. Fingers crossed. Yes! Got it. Right, let's tighten these clutches up. I'll be back. Uh, in about half an hour, I'll give that 30 minutes. It'll probably, I'll bring a new battery out with me because these old can Canon cameras don't last too long with the batteries. But I've got the Crocsi Galaxy in the centre of my Canon 40D sensor clicking away. Quite happy about that, never imaged it before. It looks pretty nice on the screen actually, it's quite bright. Hopefully, I've got something okay to show you guys at the end of this video. And it's a lovely clear night, so I would have been absolutely gutted if I didn't find anything. I know you're all screaming at me, why didn't you use the go-to? Why don't I use the go-to? It's a good question. It's because in my head, I think I can just find it. I think I can just find the objects. It's the visual astronomer in me from years ago. I don't know, there's something about just finding the object yourself as well. There's a bit of a buzz from that, but it's stupid. I really should use GoTo, even though GoTo can... Not even GoTo, what I should use is plate solving. As much as it's a buzz finding stuff manually, <laughs> I could have quite easily wasted tonight perfectly clear night, no clouds, completely crisp skies, dark, for bottle five skies, I could have wasted that. Anyway, I'll be back in half an hour. Okay, I've just changed the battery over after 30 shots, because they don't last very long on the old cannons and I don't want to run out of juice. So hopefully I'm all set for some 30 more shots using the remote timer. That's if the memory card doesn't fill up. Hopefully there's enough space on the memory card and we should be good. And then I'll come back out, pop the dust cap back on the 200p, shoot off maybe a dozen dark frames, try and get rid of some of the noise from the old sensor. I'm not too worried about taking flats at all because I'm going to be cropping quite heavily anyway and there's no moon for gradient. It's a lovely night so I'm glad I've got something and it's a new object for me that I've never imaged or seen and it's the Crocsi Galaxy in Canis Venetiki. Awesome. Okay, hopefully I've got something to show you. I might go and have a little play with the all sky lens for the ASI 462MC and so just put their security light on but hopefully that will go off and until next time tell those clouds to sod off which they've certainly done tonight here.